Oh, this is easy. These are the these are the modified cars. Tomorrow is when the uh, when the excitement level steps up a little bit. We got eight minutes to start. It's usually uh, it, uh, the adrenaline goes and ebbs and flows. You got the lineup, making sure everybody's in the right spot, and then you get them off the line. And once everybody's gone, then you hang out for an hour and until they come back. And then at the end of the day, when everybody's back safely, is when you can finally relax. So what's the Smitty Build uh, Every Man Challenge? Smitty Build Every Man Challenge. These are modified cars, stock cars. Uh, Modified cars are all enhanced motors, but they all look like something. They look like an OEM car, kind of like funny, the funny cars of off-road racing. And then stock is stock. You can't cut the body, you can't change the motor, everything exactly what it is. So you really determine what, what, what the best OEM vehicle ever was. Couple of thoughts before your first professional race. Uh, nervous. How, how hard, hard is your heart beating right now? Good amount. Is this the hardest that it's ever beaten in your life? Right here, okay. that's why you have a scoring tent. Okay. Stay on the wind, gather the sun, oh, do your nails. Yes. We, can, we actually build it so you can put a, a fire right there next to it. Get a pedicure. I can work on a pedicure for you. Yeah. All right. How long do you think? Huh? How long do you think? Um, probably an hour till they're here again. First lap, then they go again, and they come back to the finish. You guys have what you need? Yes, sir. If you have what you need. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. You have what you need? Absolutely, sir. Okay. Is it you have what you need? Everything good? Can we relay? get three more people up there? Uh, we can try. They can sit on my lap. Are we winning? We're winning. Tom, you got everything you need? Yeah, man. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, what you need? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, sounds good. You're actually you're a good person to have for a SWAT team. If something goes up, stick around here. If something goes up, comes up. We'll, we'll uh, I'll, I know I can call. Okay. Yeah, me and uh, him for today. Perfect. Just keep everybody back in here. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, what you need, Jim? Everything good? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey. If you walk straight across this way, you'll see a really, really big motorhome and a tent next to it. Okay. Inside that tent is a ping pong table, two kegs, and a bunch of course markings. Okay. How you doing, sir? Good to see you, brother. How you been? Man, you good? Missed you guys. Had to come down. Give everything you need. Yeah, I think so. I need to try to get this program. See, I'm not open yet. Justin, you good? Yeah, no. All right. Hey, can I just get two two biscuits, just one biscuit with a little bit of gravy on it? Yeah. Right now. Stay right there, Dave. Thank Stay you. Right there. Call me, Justin, if you need me. Well.
Now it's getting a little weird. <laughs> The onion unlayers. 13's out. You got your crew coming for you? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so we're awesome to see you back here. Hmm? We're so awesome to yeah, see you back here. Yeah, I know, man. I'm, I'm excited to be back. Yeah? That's cool. Okay, 13's there. out of the race. Broken just before yeah. race mile 13. Yeah. 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 Can I speak to you for a second? How are things so far? Good. Good um, start. I was over at the start finish. Looked really good this morning. Okay. Um, we're in position, everybody. I've yeah. got I got my guys going up. Yeah. I'm over staff at Chocolate Thunder because we're going to oh, build yeah. a jumbotron up there. Oh, cool. And when the jumbotron gets built, then they'll stay there and be crowd management too. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, I've got guys up at uh, mile marker 32 to watch for traffic on the power line. And we've got hey, a guy 10, here. 10, 4, 5, 8, 9 is down yeah. for repairs. Good so far. And what race mile? Okay, that sounds great. How big is Hammertown today? Copy that. Oh, 4589 broke down. Right. 20,000 people here. 15,000 people here. There's probably a half a billion dollars worth of motorhomes and stuff out here. It's amazing <laughs> all the equipment that's out here. It's just mind boggling. This is what, Dave, the 10th, 10th year? Eight. Eighth year of this, and it has probably quadrupled since then. So it's just amazing. It's just, it's an awesome spectacle. It's just great to go watch. The people put a lot of money, a lot of time to this thing, and they're very little reward, so I guess it's mainly mainly for the love of the sport. So it's just very cool. Who's calling in on Weatherman about race mile 21? So he's showing not moving at this particular second. But is there still traffic around him? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, there's a whole big cluster. So this is the basic race course starting here, coming around. All of these dots here, little car icons, they, uh, they update every two minutes. And each of the colors represents a different class. So they, they just keep updating and work their, working their way around the course. So you can track each and every individual car and therefore who is broken down this way? We can find out who is stopped, who is moving, where the leaders are. Like, you know, the leaders are at race mile 30 right now. So we can just track them all day long. And at the, by the end of the day, we know where anybody that's broken, where they're at, we can see recovery directly to them. There's two other really big pieces of information though that happen. It's, it senses G-load on the car, so if it, if it, uh, if it experiences a G-load event, like hitting something really, really, really hard and accident, then it it notifies us. Without us having to look and see what's happening, it notifies us and alerts us that you have an incident. The second thing is, if that incident happens, we can actually call that car and be a satellite phone directly with hands-free operation. So, if you're laying in the, you're laying in a rolled over car and somebody's going, "Are you guys okay?" Right. As a racer, you call it the voice of God because that's what it feels like. The dust oh. is clearing and you hear somebody here saying, "Are you guys okay out there?" Okay. Quiet, Alex. We got a step mic. Someone's sitting on a microphone. Great job, Dave. Yep. Talk to her. Okay. Or record that. <laughs> Great job, Dave. Yeah, I'm not it on mine, you said it in 2014. It's true. Just so you guys know, the leader looks like he's about race mile 32. So for remote pit one, the up, leaders are about 10 minutes out. 10 to 15 huh? minutes out. Do they teach you exactly how to how to tip the brim? Well, I see. This is a military thing. So two fingers to the nose bridge. Yeah. So it gives it just the right angle. Yeah. Back in the day, they used to wear it like this. But, yeah. you, know, you look much more serious when it's 100 percent dead on level. Right. How, yeah. How's it going? Good. Okay. Yeah. Let, me, let me know what you need. Yeah. All right, <laughs> hey, hang in there. I'll talk to you later. Somebody's deep in thought. 
I'm not going to be able to relax until he's across the finish line. How's the boy doing right now? He's doing very well. I believe he's in sixth place right now. He's about mile marker 35. Okay, so Curry was at 47, George Evans at mile marker 40, Bickerton at 40, and Jordan's at 37. He's currently six still. Our son Jordan Pellegrino is 15 and a half. He's currently participating in the Mod G Class EMC 2014 King and Hammers. We got a car for Jordan about six months ago. Within three days, he had the car torn apart and was rebuilding it, getting ready for this race. So it's his passion, it's his uh, bond with his father and uh, he's loving every minute of it and works on the car every chance he gets and uh, today's a great day for racing it's slightly cloudy slightly cool so it's perfect weather conditions and uh, jordan took off starting position seven and uh, his um, partner in the team richard garrett took off right alongside him so uh, we're just tracking them very closely with their neck and neck right now and we're very excited for him and regardless of what the outcome is, we're extremely proud of him.